Hey everyone, Claudio Encina. Thanks for joining me today. I want to share with you a little bit of what humans do. You and I, as humans, we love framework and structure. The question I have for you today is, your listing presentation, does it have a form of structure? Does it have some form of framework? Or do you have an agenda? Or are you an amateur in this marketplace where you're just winging it? You know I'm all about pros and amateurs, right? That's what this market's all about. You want to be the pro in the industry. You see, with a listing presentation, you want to have that framework from the beginning. So you want to have that pre-list phone call asking about you know, where they're moving to, why have they chosen today to get a market appraisal, and maybe exactly how you work. Like you're probably going to drop a pre-information package to their door, which will give them an insight about you and who you are. And also having that framework that you might have an SMS to confirm the appointment. So you can see like there's little bits of pieces that start leading to sort of going, these people feeling like this guy's a pro. Now, once you go to the, uh, the listing presentation, of course, you ask some really good questions. And if you've seen my previous video about NLP, how, what, where, who, they're the words you've got to be asking in some of the questions that you're designing at the appointment. As you do stage one, or if you're doing a two-stage appointment, then you want to have the framework for the big listing presentation. This is where I find agents tend to fail. They don't have the agenda set up right, they don't have framework, they don't have structure, and more importantly, there's no flow. If you really want to get some outcomes, the listing presentation is all about gaining some high trust and they feeling comfortable with you. So right now, I'm going to quickly give you a quick overview of what a listing presentation framework looks like. So when you get there, the first thing you should always talk about is price. People go, Claudia, why price right now in the beginning of a presentation? Can I tell you why? You don't want to be doing that right at the end and say your home is worth X, Y, Z and they feel really offended by the price that you've given them. Guess what happens? They say, there's the door, get out of my house. If you're able to demonstrate at the beginning and talk about price upfront, and if they don't feel as comfortable, you can talk to them about price positioning and buyer behavior as to how that all works. So we've got price. Then you're gonna talk about the next part of the framework, which is the process, auction or private treaty. Okay, or in some cases, if you're in the high end market, like with some of the clients that I work with, EOI, expressions of interest, right? Then we're gonna talk a little bit about the marketing, and that's obviously print, internet, etc. Then the next part of your framework should move along to why you and why your company. You see, you need to demonstrate value right there and then as to why you're different compared to everyone else. You see, most people, your customers, think you're painted with the same brush. You have gotta to be totally different. Then you're gonna talk about a little bit about negotiation. This is where you bring your case studies. So if you ever get objections around commission or marketing, you're able to demonstrate to them why they should go this way and use this process to get this outcome, which is the premium result for them. The case studies support all the facts and evidence of why you're there and why they should choose you. Then you get to the communication level of the framework, which is, you know, who should I contact? Should I contact your husband and your wife? Or should I contact both of you? Or is there only one point of communication? Then we're getting right down to the end, which I so to say, get a commitment. Now the commitment is obviously the best one, is getting the signed agency agreement, right? Would you agree? Absolutely. But sometimes some people just need time because that's their personality. They're gonna check two other agents, they're not gonna make a decision right there and then, and you just have to be patient. But getting a commitment could be, when should we speak again? Should I give you a call on Monday or Tuesday be better? It's all about getting a commitment at some point right there. And then of course, with a framework while they're making their decision, if they haven't made a decision right there and then, is adding those value hooks. If you haven't understand what value hooks are today, go through one of my previous videos and you'll understand what value hooks is all about. Okay guys, I hope this video has served you today and understanding the framework and the structure is what humans love and if you deliver that at a listing presentation, you will win 80 to 100% of the time. Remember, stay focused, stay in action, and always stay in control.